Language. <clears throat> Somebody's been eating my breakfast. Morning, Steve. Look who uh, Bob drowned. Do I look thick? The answer you're looking for is no. How many times does a man have to say it, Kylie? You are not welcome here. So, on your way, and don't even think about coming back. Yes, officer. Get out. Audrey, I just... No. Are you deaf as well as daft? Just get out. I've come to apologise. Oh. Well, funnily enough, I'm not the slightest bit interested. So, do a U-turn and shut the door on the way out. Oh, I didn't think. I were only having a laugh. I really didn't mean to hurt you. No, you didn't think, did you, Kylie? Because, you know, I'm not 100% sure that you've got a brain in that head of yours. Oh, so, anyway, I'm sorry, right? So, if we can just... Right! Right! What do you mean, right? <laughs> there was nothing right about what you did. I can help do the stock check if you like, if that's what you're doing. Oh, oh, I see now. This is a damage limitation exercise, isn't it? Where I offer you your job back. Very clever. Oh, very clever. Give the girl a gold star. No. I'm just being helpful. Oh. But if you want me to come back, I'd say yeah. If only to show oh, you that. You ridiculous, stupid child. Do you want us to think, after what you did, that I'd even want to breathe the same oxygen as you? Look, it was just a joke that backfired. How many times I have to say it? A joke? Hmm? You film someone on your phone and then you blackmail them with it. I mean, do you think that's funny? I know it's not the in-betweeners, but... <laughs> Kylie, li listen. Now, just listen. I loved that man. I did. I loved him. So come on. Laugh like you've been laughing all along. I haven't. Yes, you have. Because I don't think you have any concept of what love is. I have. Because if you did have a heart, Kylie, you would know how it felt to have it broken. I've got feelings. Kylie. What do you see when you look at me, hmm? Hmm? Silly, stupid old woman, hmm? No, you've done dead well for yourself. Hmm. Well, it wasn't always like this. Most times I had to fight for it. Nothing was given to me on a plate. I wasn't born with a, a silver hairdryer in my mouth. And you know, my upbringing wasn't too dissimilar to yours. It's what you choose to do with what you've got that marks you out as a human being. That is the test of character. I'm sorry. Look what I did, Kyla. Look at you. Understand. I've just had social services on the phone. They sent me a letter. So what do you want? The big clock? When you have not seen it, because I've not been there. And why was that, I wonder? Look, they're coming round tomorrow to discuss everything to do with Max. So I really need to get in the house to talk to him about access. Show him I've got somewhere stable to live in that. Sorry, not interested. But I need to think about Max. Well, you should have thought about Max before you started blackmailing my mother. You know how important this is to me and David, please. I don't see that this has got anything to do with David anymore. He's not going to be happy about this when he gets back and see how you've been treating me. You seem to forget, Kylie. I'm like an elephant. Dumbo. I never forget. And he's not going to be over the moon, is he, when I tell him that you've been flirting with fellas in the pub the other night? Why is she so vile to me? I mean, fancy saying that. 
David's gonna go ape. Should see her when she's in here, lording it over everyone because she's next month. Won't mind, she's only flaming cleaner. Just when I was getting my life back on track, I really thought I'd get Max back, and now she's gonna put a spanner in the works. She's such a cow. What's my job? My home. And my supposed husband didn't even remember my birthday. Kylie. He just swans off, leaving me dodging the nightmare on Coronation Street. Gail. Uh, if you've uh, quite finished your impromptu tea break. She's not drinking tea. Yeah, and you're not drinking anything either. Could you get me the unpaid July invoices, please? They're in the top drawer of the filing cabinet in the orange folder. Yeah, of course. Sorry. What are you apologising to him for? Because I'm her boss and she's meant to be working. So if you could do a Shergar for us, that'd be brilliant. Shergar was us. Went missing. Any relation? Thank you, Eva. What are you doing? Don't worry. You'll get them back soon enough. Can I? Head to toe. Hiya, Gail. You all right? Take a wild guess. Kylie, this is not funny now. This is a smile, not a laugh. After everything I've done for you. Do you want me to call the police? What are you looking for? This is my house. Was you looking for these? It's where you're looking for these. Don't split heads. And man. the answer's yes. <gasps> now that was a laugh. Ow! Drop dead. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? In fact, I'm surprised me man man had a heart attack with your shenanigans. Seen this? Kylie! Kylie, tell me, innit? What's going on? Kylie, Wind. open it up now! This may take some time. I hope so. You've had it in for me from the moment you met me. Oh, that's so true. I know, common when I see it. Hey, you're the one caterwauling on the cobbles. Yeah, here, yeah, here. Yeah. Oh, shut up. Let him in, Kylie. You're not doing yourself any favours. She's gone inside. Where's she gone? Inside? <laughs> yeah, well, I'm just saying. <laughs> Lady style. See you later. Shall I call the police? Call an undertaker, cos I'm gonna kill her. Why do you hate each other so much? Because she knows, I know, she's been unfaithful to David. Has she? Well, I... Kylie, do you want me to call the police? Oh, God, this is pathetic. What did she just say? David. What's all the shouting about? <laughs> <gasps> Whoops. Somebody tell me what the hell's going on! Open the door. What do you want? First off, I want to know what the hell you're playing at, and second, that definitely was just water you chucked at me, wasn't it? Yeah, and you're lucky it weren't boiling. Hey, that's my best pan. Good. I just want to know what's going on. Well, I'm no expert, mate, but I'm getting that she's a bit upset about something. Yeah, she'll be even more upset when I get my hands on her. Mum, I don't think this is helping. Oh, look at her. She's beyond help. This is not the only one. <laughs> Have you lot got nothing better to do? Not really. And it's not every day the circus comes to town. <laughs> babes, talk to us. Don't babes me, you scumbag. I haven't done anything. Exactly. What do you mean? I thought you loved me. I do love you. I married you, didn't I? Then why did you forget my birthday? I didn't forget. I just couldn't get a signal every time I tried ringing. Anyway, didn't you get the flowers I sent you? What do you think? Where are you going? To get another pan! Look, if you're angry about the flowers, I can prove I did send them. You've got the receipt in your wallet. Or oh, just give us a chance, please. Can I do this? They're having a drink. Well, hurry up then before I change my mind. You're gonna have to let them in sooner or later. They do live here. Receipt. What? You said you had the receipt for the flowers. Show us. I haven't got it. I had to say something to get in here, so I lied. You pig. You stinking, lying pig! I found the receipt, I found the flowers! No! Kylie! No! Get off me! Oh, listen to me, listen to me! Well, I'm telling you the truth! Why should I believe you? Because I swear on Max's life! <sighs> I 
I'll never forget your birthday. I love you, you maniac. Come here. I'm sorry. It's all right. It's not all right. Everything's a mess and everybody hates me. Why well, don't hate you? Yeah, well, you're an idiot. Oh, it's been horrible here without you. Everybody getting us. I mean, I thought you forgot my birthday. I just... Look, I didn't forget your birthday. If it makes you feel any better, I'll buy you some more flowers. I'll get you a flaming tree if you want. But right now, Kylie, I need you to get your head together because if that social worker's coming here tomorrow... I'm not going to see him. What? I'm going to cancel the meeting. Well, what about Max? Look at me. They're not going to let him within a hundred yards of me this day. I'm in, are they? I can't do it. Of course you can. How? Because I'm going to be with you. And I promise I'm never going to leave you ever again. Oh, but I've checked everywhere. Nothing seems to be damaged. That's because I haven't broke anything. And what about my pan? What about it? Hey, enough cheek from you, lady. Thank you. Leave her alone, Gran. Can't you tell that she's upset? Oh, pardon me, David. We're all upset. No, I don't see any point in prolonging this. I think it best if you just go. What, you're chucking her out? It's all right, David, just forget it. No, Mum, you can't do this. We've got the social worker coming here tomorrow. Then she should have thought about that before she started acting up. Well, I've spoken to her about those blokes in the pub. She said nothing happened, and I believe her. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about what she did to your Graham. What do you mean? What happened? I'd rather not discuss that now, thank you. He's going to find out sooner or later. I took a video on my phone of your Grand's fella in a dress. Mark? Why was he wearing a dress? It's just something he does sometimes, that's all. What, you mean like he's a tranny? It's not funny, David. I bet it is. Have you still got that video? No, I deleted it. Oh. No, pff, not before you tried to blackmail me with it to get your job back. Because you fired me. Because of the way you spoke to my daughter. Because she let me out of the house. Because you were carrying on with other men. Nothing happened. So you say. Stop speaking to her like that. Oh, for God's sake, shut up. It doesn't matter who's done what to who or why, it's done. All that matters is we deal with this calmly and rationally like adults. I'm going to go out and find the tallest bridge and throw myself off it. It's all about you, innit? Well? What? What are we supposed to do now? Oh, I don't know. I didn't think that far ahead. I'm just enjoying the peace and quiet. Oh, this is such a waste of time. OK, how about one of us starts off by apologising for what we've said or what's happened? Oh, we don't all talk at once. It's OK. I'm sorry for locking you out of your house. About your pan. Best pan. Whatever. I'm sorry about all that stuff with Mark and his dress and trying to blackmail you. Thank you, Carly. Mum? What? Well, it's your turn. I've got nothing to apologise for. She didn't mean any of it anyway. What do you want from me, blood? Don't tempt me. Look, I know this isn't easy, but we've got to sort it out. Cos, like it or not, we've all got to live together. No, we don't. What? When I was on that course, I met a bloke who owns a couple of hairdressers. And he's just lost his manager at the one that he owns in Monton. To cut a very long story short, he's offered me a job, flat above the shop, the lot. What did you tell him? Well, I said I'd think about it. But it's a no-brainer, really, isn't it? Because coming back here, I know two things. That you and Max are my family now. And I don't want either of you two to have to put up with any of this. Come on. Where are you going? We're going for a drink. And then I'm going to ring him and tell him I'm taking the job. And then we're going to get out of this place for good. <laughs> 